respected students welcome back everyone so today's video is about the field parameter used in real time power bi project and how you will create the toggle button and show the uh, parameters to the client okay so let's start with the video first thing is see you need proper let's say if you want to create on year and month so what first you will need year and month column so let's go to our fact table and in this fact table I will go on this purchase date watch properly video till end you will understand everything so click on this date and uh, I will create this year column simple okay now I will go here close and apply and then I will go to data view and we will create year month column also in real time project mostly on year month uh, they want like let's go to this data view and uh, fact insurance new column okay here i will give name month year is equal to format on purchase date comma mmm dash yy okay so now we have year and month column okay now we are going to create a field parameter toggle button on year and month so now let's go to this modeling tab we will click on uh, parameter fields okay so here what we will do here we will go uh, here we will go to this uh, fact insurance we will drag this year column okay and then what we will drag we will drag this month year calculate column which we have created okay these two columns we will drag now let's remove this add slicer create okay so now we have created now we will click on this button slicer and we will pass this parameter see parameter 2 which is there that we will pass here okay so now it will show like this toggle button has been created we will make this smaller okay and now let's uh, take some stack column chart and uh, we will pass like claim amount let's pass this claim amount in y axis and in x axis you need to compulsory pass this parameter okay you need to compulsory pass this parameter now when you will click here if you will go see just elaborate if you click on month year it will show on month year and when you are clicking on year it will just show off year only but here one issue is there first of all see the best practice is always keep data label on so that uh, it will be visible the numbers will be visible properly and see when you are clicking on this month year what is the problem see august january okay this properly sorting has not been happened so there are two things you should take care of here in this case in real time project so first thing is we should have a slicer slicer will have like year column like let's go to this fact insurance scroll down after scrolling past the year okay and uh, pass this month also make sure the format of uh, this is like vertical list drop down is there and in drop down you can select 2024 now you will see that always publish report on this month year okay so now you can see there were earlier many months were showing but now properly jan february it is showing and publish in this state whatever state i am showing right now current snapshot in this state you should publish but now your sorting is not there like january february october is coming so now in this case what you have to do always create a month number column okay and on that you will do sorting go to again power query go to this fact insurance in fact insurance click on purchase date always click on add column okay add column month month you will go okay month number column has been created so month number column has been created close and apply once you do close and apply now go to this uh, data view okay now go to this data view and in the data view click on fact insurance drag to the end click on month year and in sort column click on this month okay that's it and now see properly 
now it will show on okay see january february march april everything properly in sequence it will do if it is not showing make sure to remove and once again pass that let's say now one more parameter i am having which is build i will show okay it's not like that that field parameter will only be shown on year or month only it can show on other also let's say now we will take some other visual like uh, let's say area chart we are taking and uh, area chart we are taking on some other business numbers like earlier we took on claim amount now we will uh, take on premium paid let's say okay premium paid we are taking okay so we will click on this premium paid let's take this down let's drag it down and one more field parameter we are having which was already created by me okay see this parameter one is there let me click on this parameter one okay and in this button slicer i will go in this button slicer i will click on this okay so on customer city gender so if i am clicking on customer see all the customers are showing properly okay if i am clicking on city hyderabad bangalore delhi mumbai pune gender only both the genders are showing okay you can even choose another also like line chart you can take uh, you can take this uh, bar chart also you can use okay there are multiple charts whatever you want to take you can show on that or you can use on this decomposition tree okay so these are the multiple charts we can do even you can change this name customer name city gender from this uh, formatting part also okay so today's video was, a, was about the field parameters and this thing is used 100% in real time project let me tell you from my personal experience i am telling this thing is used in real time project also hope you have understood and this is 100% asked question also in interview also okay thank you everyone for watching till end subscribe the channel and press bell icon for all up to videos